Back on Inside Tennessee, John North. Eddie, um, one of the probably the most pointed things that you said in the Facebook post, I think last week, was that uh, leadership of the Knox County GOP did everything it could to destroy me. So let's talk a little bit about that if we can. That leadership, I think, is changing. Um, we just learned uh, a few days ago, Daniel Herrera, who has been the chairman of the county GOP, is his term's ending in two now after two years, and somebody else will get appointed to that. I'm kind of curious what you would like to see uh, in terms of that leadership be, and do you intend to continue to participate in the party here locally? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, you, you know, I. I, I was the candidate and it was, uh, I guess, maybe prior leadership to Daniel Herrera. And uh, that, that really said that they would not support me and made my life pretty hard during that campaign process. And, and it is what it is. I mean, I mean, you know, I understand that campaigns are tough, but I just didn't, y you know, expect to be so challenged by members of the Republican Party in Knox County. And it, it was more the leadership, the past leadership. But then moving forward, the leadership changed. Then uh, they even, uh, one of, I guess, maybe the chapters of the, the West Knox County Republicans or the Knox County GOP uh, even, even voted to censor me because my votes were not exactly what that, that group would like for them to have been. So I was censored as a uh, as a sitting legislator and that was I, I really didn't understand that nobody ever said anything to me about it i never got any feedback and and during the whole campaign process i kept trying to demonstrate that yes i i've supported republicans i've supported democrats and and just came out of a uh, a city mayor's race and so supporting democrats it was a nonpartisan race and so uh and i will continue to do so i I hope moving forward that they are able to support candidates, understand that uh, maybe it's an overused term, but but really, in my opinion, it is going to have to become more of a big tent party. You're going to have to open your minds up. Not everybody is going to look like you, vote like you, act like you, you know. And so uh, if the Republican Party really wants to make progress moving forward, I think that they're going to have to be more open minded. And I hope the Knox County GOP really uh, can embrace that and will operate more under a big difference. Do you have any plans to run again for public office? You know, I've, I've asked, been asked that quite often. Uh, you know, it's not in the cards in the in the foreseeable future. I've always had a passion to serve the people of Knoxville. I love Knoxville. You know, even as challenging challenging as as it has been in the past few years, but. Uh, we'll see. I, I will not say no, but I can't even start to process that now. My time right now is just spent working on my businesses, working on Honor Air and trying to do the best I can do. And, and then we'll see what happens for the future. And any advice for Elaine Davis, who is taking over and will represent the 18th district now that you're not running? Uh, I think that my best advice would be to before you make a statement, read, uh, understand what votes are. Uh, don't don't just fall into the political rhetoric, rhetoric and the, the grandstanding just for just for grandstanding sake. And always realize that when you cast a vote, there's most of the time there's somebody impacted positively and there's somebody impacted negatively. And you really need to understand both sides of that. Uh, so I think it's important really to understand who is impacted by your legislation from a negative perspective. Eddie Manis, we appreciate your time. Thank you for your service, your ongoing service to veterans, 41 trips up to Washington, D.C. and back, uh, financed through you and Honor Air Knoxville. So we appreciate that. And uh, we wish you best of luck and hope to see you again soon down the trail. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me this morning. More perspective on Inside Tennessee from my colleague John North when we come back.